Welcome to the shooting show. This week, Byron and Eden are on Coney Control in the Central Highlands with Anschutz Rimfires and RWS Ammo. Plus, we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. It's 24 hour pest control as Byron and Eden line up for a night and a day of furious rabbiting. We're just going to quickly check the rifle. It's been sitting in the cupboard for a while and I can't actually remember the last time I had it out. I want to make sure that it's spot on before we try and hit a few bunnies tonight. And uh, I don't want Eden giving me any excuses when he misses. So. We've got uh, some empty boxes with us so we'll just quickly stick, it, stick them on the stubble here and uh, take a shot out the window. Hopefully it's bang on and then we can get to it. Almost there. Just a wee bit out. <clears throat> I can't actually see, but so I'm going to have to have a look through the infrared. These are my last group of shots here. But I'm going to I'm going to turn it around this way, and uh, I'll be able to see the road here. It'll give me something else to shoot at in the, the gecko sign down here. Before long, Byron's happy with his zero, and the bunny control mission can finally begin. First time we've been out just for rabbits for a long time. Yeah. Normally Mr. Fox is the key attraction of the night. But the bunnies themselves are infuriatingly absent, with a thick mist making matters worse. In fact, it's beginning to look a lot like a blank. There's not a lot in the way of rabbits here, but that's a good thing. And we just got to keep on top of the few that are here, make sure the farmer stays happy. Final port of call. See if we can salvage the night. We should see something up here, but the mist might be bad when we get up on the top of the hill. Do you want to give a wee shine in here? Only in the last stop of the night do we salvage some pride. Not going to be a totally fruitless night. One. Better than none. Well, that has been a failure. I think it was the only way to describe that, but not really our fault. We've been a little bit unlucky with the weather tonight. Actually, when we set out, it looked like it was going to be a bit of a bit of a non-event and that, that's exactly how it's turned out. Um, so we're going to go home and come out again when the weather's better. Put the kettle on. Kettle, yeah, put the kettle on, time for a brew. Let's see if we fare better on the daytime rabbit in foray. This time it's Eden who takes the lead. I was out with Byron uh, earlier in the week uh, out the, with the lamp um, but the weather was pretty abysmal and we, we got one rabbit. Uh, Believe it or not, he's got a day job, so he's not here today. Um, but uh, I'm going to take a walk around a bit of ground that we've got permission on and uh, see what we can get. Hopefully we'll get a few in the bag, a few, few for the pot, and then it'll be a good day. And we're going to go up to this fence line here, which dips into a, a little bit of a valley. And there's warrens all the way up there. So as soon as we pop our heads over, hopefully we'll see something anyway. So we've just come into the valley now. 
There was a few down here. There doesn't seem like there's much activity. It's, it's a quite a horrible day to be out um, for a rabbit. But uh, as you can see, the valley goes up. There's lots of rabbit activity, warren wise. So we'll just go on and see what we can see. As we reach the fence line, it turns out we're in luck. A single coney provides the perfect opportunity to get off the mark. That's one on the ground. Unfortunately, the next thing to hit the ground isn't a rabbit, it's Edan. As you can see, we've had a bit of an accident. Well, I've had a bit of an accident, but uh, so we're gonna clean the rifle off a bit. And then uh, as I went in, I, I felt it knock a wee bit. So we're gonna take a test shot to check that it's still zeroed. And then uh, I'll try and clean myself off a bit and then continue on. <laughs> We looked across and we can see countless rabbits up there. Um, obviously we've made a bit of noise now, uh, but uh, we're going to head up there and give it a go anyway, see what's up there when we pop our heads over. Finally completing the clean-up and test shot, we find the afternoon's nearly over. So we'll need to be quick if we want to grow the bag further. There's one just up here. There's a walk crawl. It's like literally five yards away, so we need to be really quiet. With a coney in his sights, it's time for Edan to prove he's good for more than just falling into puddles. Two crop destroying conies fall to two shots. Now things are finally picking up. Let's see if we can keep it going. We've come 100 yards along the valley. We're just going to head up this bit again, pop our heads over, see what we see, shoot what we see. So we're just going to go off the top here. And uh, hopefully there should be plenty of one of them out. As we crest the ridge, another pair of pests presents itself to Eden and his rimfire. We just came to the top of the ridge here. And uh, there was a few rabbits sitting really quite close. Um, but we came in quiet enough and managed to knock down a few. Looking a bit further away, there's quite a lot on this flat bit above the valley. But so far we must have, uh, what's that, five five in the bag? Which is, which is fine to fill a pot. With time short, a prone vigil from this position proves our best option. And it offers one final chance at a shot. So that's us done for the day. We had a bit of an incident in the middle, but uh, <laughs> that didn't stop us. Uh, we've got about eight or nine in the bag and we must have saw maybe just over double that. So we've done all right. Uh, we've reduced the number a wee bit, but obviously there'll be much more out in the spring and uh, we'll come back then and uh, dent the population a bit more. It's not been the biggest bag in history, but still a memorable pest control excursion for the boys when all's said and done. Byron and Eden there, getting to grips with the rabbit. And now, the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. The shooting world has come together to respond to a number of attacks on our livelihood and our sport. First, Basque responded to a number of anti-lead shot comments made at a meeting of academics in Oxford. Two speakers said lead affects between 50 and 100,000 waterfowl, but Basque pointed out that this was little more than guesswork. Chairman Alan Jarrett said there's no justification for a lead ban. And Basque has also produced a guide for shooters in the wake of the EU's plans to tighten gun laws. The association said the five-year ceiling on certificate duration was the main area that might affect shooters in the UK. And some semi-automatic rimfire rifles might get caught up in the new legislation, but semi-automatic shotguns are likely to stay unaffected. Basque said a separate legal instrument, and not the firearms directive, should control gun laws across Europe. A new country sports newspaper is making its way across the UK. The Game Fair Gazette is full of shooting, fishing and gun dog content and is getting widespread release in the run-up to next year's UK Game Fair. Its publishers have said it's the field sports equivalent of Metro. 
Get a copy for free at your local shooting ground or gun shop, fishing retailer, equestrian centre or outdoor clothing retailer. And visit UKGameFair.com for the latest on Country Sport's new flagship event. A new Crime Stoppers campaign is aimed at halting poaching in the countryside. Stop Poaching, originally developed by Devon and Cornwall Police in conjunction with the local gamekeeper, has now had a nationwide release. It encourages people to get in touch if they know anyone who poaches deer or fish, trespasses with dogs or firearms, or handles illegally shot game meat. If you're a gamekeeper or want to keep up with all the issues affecting shoots, don't miss iShoot magazine. And finally, the International Shooting Sports Federation has set up an extra Olympic qualification event at the last minute. The new competition in New Delhi takes place at the end of January next year and it'll give away 35 Olympic quota spots after the Asian Shooting Championship in Kuwait had its Olympic status revoked. With less than 250 days until the Olympics, Great Britain is on course to send six athletes to compete in the shooting events in Rio. That was the Shooting Show News. Well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Shirt.